Hello, Montmartre Joe here, and thanks again for joining us. Today we'll be creating realistic skin tints from pastels, and we'll be using standard Montmartre pastels and Montmartre skin tint pastel pencils. We already have our outline laid in from our how to transfer and enlarge from a photo lesson previous. So let's add our colour. Now I like to start with the face first, so let's lay in our darks. The sides of the face are darker and the nose is in shadow also due to the light source. I pick the umber pencil and lay this in. Remember that the head is spherical so the shading should suggest this. This is our undercoat if you like. Take your time to get a smooth transition when shading and take out colour with a vinyl eraser if you need to. Now I lay in some burnt sienna. This adds real warmth. Next I lay on the pinky beige pastel onto the light parts of the face. It is better to lay the light colour over the dark ones as it will be easier to balance out the tones. Scrub the pastel onto the paper and smoothly blend the colours into each other. The main body of the colour is down so I turn my attention to the reds in the lips, round the eyes and in the cheeks. I am using raw sienna. I pay close attention to the photo and lay a lot of pigment onto the lips and then lay pinky beige on top. This is what makes skin tones convincing. They are never one flat colour. Use the blending stump to smooth it all out. Well this is really starting to take shape. Now I am moving to my high key colours and that's whites. So I'm going to lay in the very light parts of the flesh and the white parts of the eyes. The whites of the eyes are never really pure white so lay down a subtle tone over them. Let's suggest a gleaming lip with a couple of simple strokes and the highlight on the nose. Now I can lay in my ultra darks mainly in the eyes. In the black I lay in some blue to suggest a deep tint. Well I think that's enough for the face. Let's work on the background next and let's start on this cute little bike hat. So lay in an undercoat of white. Smooth it in with your finger leaving the edges free of colour. Now lay over some thin red lines to suggest that complex check pattern. Add a little white onto the band around the hat as well. Now I lay in some violet and some red onto the shirt. So let us now block in the background and this is really easy. You just lay your pastel on its side. I'm laying some light blue in on one side and mid blue in on the other. Using two colours just breaks the monotony that a single colour might have and using bright colours for the negative space really frames the subject. There, well I hope that's helped a little bit. There are so many colours in human skin complexion. That's why it's such a fun challenge to paint. And remember, practice makes perfect and you cannot fail in art. So until next time, keep on painting.